Roger Moore was the saint, one of several incarnations of the saint. Another was Ian Ogilvy, who was due to be with us today. He can't be here because he's stranded in Los Angeles. His flight was cancelled. However, he sent one of his co-stars, Jenny Hanley, an email, and Jenny has kindly agreed to read out his message for us today.
She was in a bath, washing mud off her shapely body. Her line was, you're a very attractive man, Simon. My line was, and you're a very dirty girl. <laughs> Purely as a joke to make Gail laugh, I delivered the line in the only other voice I've ever been any good at, Cary Grant's. <laughs> they must have retained that particular take, because the next day, Bob came up to me, his face wreathed in smiles. That's it, Ian. That is exactly it. What is, Bob? I said. Well, that scene with Gail. What I said. Not too English. When the series came out, one reviewer wrote, and why Ian Ogilvy plays the character in a lousy imitation of Cary Grant is <laughs> the series was not picked up and inevitably I lost touch with Bob. But he was one of the guests when they did My This Is Your Life and he was delightful and complimentary and kind. Many years later I met him again when we did some commentaries on the DVD sets of the series. It was as if we'd never parted. We fell straight back into an easy conversation and I enjoyed my time in the recording studio with him very much. It was with great sadness that I learned he was ill, and with even greater sadness when I heard that he'd left us. I will always remember him as the man who took a chance on me, and who remained supportive and encouraging and very kind through our sadly rather short involvement. And I'm heartbroken not to be there with you all, to whom I send much affection from some 30 years ago. Signed, Ian Ogilvy. Thank you.